Hey everyone, this is Jirikos, and welcome back to Let's Play Stacking. Last time, we closed down the safari on the Gilded Steamship and sent our first adventurer up to meet the captain. This time, we're going to head off and try to find another adventurer. Let's go this way. Now, I love all the detail going on here. You've got these lifeboats that are held up by fishing poles. Again, it puts everything into perspective to just how tiny everyone is. All right, we have found our second objective. Here is the Argyle Ballroom. Keep a sharp eye out for any saboteurs, guard. Yes, sir, Mr. Ramses. I'll make sure nothing gets broken. And I'll make sure nothing leaves the exhibit, sir. If anything goes missing or is broken, the exhibit will be delayed and the captain will hear of it. Okay, so we have to sabotage the exhibit. Now here we've got five different ways we can do it. Basically, we have to make sure something goes wrong in the exhibit to send Mr. Ramses up to talk to the captain. Let's start off heading down here, stack into these. This guy right here is Exhibit Guard Walter. He is a unique doll in the area, and his ability is Escort Small Doll. See these little kids? They should not be that close to the exhibit. So pick them up and move them away. Also, I love that they shout stranger. It's like, stranger danger! Once again, this game pushes the boundaries. All right, after we have moved... Nope, he didn't grab it. After we've moved all three of them out of the way, we will unstack here and stack into the mummy. And now, let's just walk on out. And he's clipping. The mummy's gone. It must really be alive! Okay, he says we can't have a mummy. I'm standing right next to him. The ship is filled with thieves and vandals. I must see the captain about this. None shall pass. Hey look, it's Agatha off to the left. Captain, some of the adventurers are gathering at the gate and demanding to see you. Balderdash, I have nothing to say to those nomads. Back to your post and do not grant them passage. Alright, so we've sent the second adventurer up to the captain, but we've got more to do here. This time... Let's stack out here into this guy, the size 4 doll with a punching glove. Remember him from last video. Come on down here and look around. You'll see there's lots of different exhibits. We have here a pharaoh statue with his own pair of boxing gloves. Well, you know what? Let's have a little boxing match. That was a little one-sided. The pharaoh's head is gone! So, yep. Yeah. Again, a way to delay the exhibit because we've damaged one of the things in there. Now, just to let you know, you don't have to find every solution to a challenge. In fact, once you've found any solution, you can move on with the plot. But where's the fun in that? Alright. Now here, actually I want to head outside. We're going to find another unique doll in the area stack up here to level three and then look at this guy this wizard here with a penchant for argoyle argyle stack into him he is ronaldo and as you can see he's part of a set we'll get to that in a minute first thing first his ability here Arg or perform illusion to turn all dolls around him into argyle a little confusing but this is a hijink let's go ahead and take care of it and his top hat turns gold. 
I'm sure you can tell already, anytime you finish performing a hijink, the change that will occur will usually be a goldification of something. So, now that we've handled that, let's head inside. And if we head over here, see this queen statue here. Well, let's perform the illusion, turn it argyle, and now it blends in with the back like a chameleon. And apparently they can't see it. So, that's our third way to disrupt the exhibit. Now, since Ronaldo was such a big help, let's take a moment and help him find the rest of his family. What do you say? First of all, Ronaldo is always going to be hanging around right here, but we need to find all four of his family. Let's start by going up to the second level. As we head up here, you want to go to your right and head all the way down to the far end. You'll know you're at the right area because you'll see a giant shark jaw and a bunch of mice. Well, this dog looks to be wearing a sweater very similar to his. Top in and, yep, prestige. Family dog. Now, to find the level two, we need to head down here, I believe. There is a specific hallway that has starfish on the carpet. We may have gone down the wrong one. Nope, it's not in there. Okay, uh, oh, here we are. This is the daughter, Gwendola. And in case you hadn't noticed by now, this is a family of magicians. Her special ability? Floating in midair. All right. Now, we have to head down back to the first level. And I think, yes, stairs are right here. To find the third person, we need to go to where we found the Kodiak bear. That's right, in here, where the bear came from, there's two little side rooms. The person's outfit looks a little familiar. It's because this is the mother, Beatrice. No wonder the dad had a hard time finding her. Her ability is to turn invisible. That's right. We've got a whole big magic act going on here. Well, now that we found these three, let's take them upstairs to meet with, the, or not upstairs, take them over to the exhibit so they can meet up with Ronaldo and have all four together again. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the Illusionist family. Watch as my daughter defies death at the hands of my own wife. It is time for the Saw of Destiny. And now a round of applause for my daring family. Great Copperfield's hat, where have you all gone? Incredibly silly. And, now that we've found them, the four of them will all be hanging out together. We've got them back, so they all hang out over on this side of the ship. Yay, it feels good to reunite a family. So, now, let's go back to disrupting the exhibit. As we were wandering around here, you may have noticed there is a golden sarcophagus up here. Now, or excuse me, gilded sarcophagus. What we want to do is shine. That will draw dolls near you, and then after they turn away, you can stack inside and just waltz on out. And after all, much like the mummy, once it's gone, there's a reason to delay the exhibit. So that's our fourth one. Okay, the last one is without a doubt 
my favorite way to disrupt the exhibit. What you want to do is stack into one of these level 2 dolls who has a violin. And then wander over to the other side of the ship. Over here, you'll notice a guy in a crazy hat sitting up on top of the stand. Well, he seems to like music. Why don't we play the violin for him and get him to hop down here? And with that, we can now hop into the Pied Piper. Yes, that's right. The Pied Piper is here. What was the Pied Piper known for doing? Why? Using his flute to lure rats. So play his flute around the mice and they will follow you. Bring them all the way back to the exhibit. Head on down the stairs and... That's right, it's a sphinx made out of cheese. And with that, we have delayed the exhibit every way possible. Because of that, we can now stack into Ferdinand Reginald. Yep, his special ability, Intellectual Discourse, puts other dolls to sleep. So, with all that, we have finished up this objective. Let's head off to our next one. For this one, we head up to the second level, and we want to head up rather close to where we found the daughter of the Illusion family. Found her in there. Let's head into this section. I could spend the whole cruise here eating caviar. My caviar's consistency must be kept perfect. Trust a chef to be very particular about his food. So, what we need to do is mess with the caviar so that this woman will go see the captain. Yes, she is our third adventurer. First thing first. Stack up here. You will notice this guy right here. Gruel Chef Hornsby. He is the one who wanders around between the kitchen and the buffet. So you may have to look for him a bit. Once you find him, head back here. Not so close to the caviar. I don't want anything to spill into it. Well, sorry. We're going to pour some gruel thickener in the caviar. He's refusing to serve the caviar. I guess that means... The caviar service has stopped. I must see the captain over this travesty. None shall pass. Alright, we've got three of them up there. We're almost got all of the crew up there to talk to the captain to bring the ship back into port. But as usual, let's find the other ways we can stop the caviar service. Now you want to get back in the same guy again, Gruel Chef Hornsby. Except instead of pouring it in the caviar machine, this time hop up these little stairs and pour the grill thickener in the water. It thickens up, caviar boats won't float anymore. As a result, service is stopped. I love the noises they make. Everyone's so disappointed. Now for the next one. This one actually does not require a specific doll. Any size 3 or 4 doll will work. So let's go ahead and stack into a size 4 because I think they work a tiny bit better. Come around here to the far side. You'll recognize this where we found the mice earlier. And push open the door. So now with the big doll, you had to be a size 3 or 4 to open it. Push the caviar overboard. And with the caviar gone, can't exactly serve it. Eggs overboard. That's right. For this next solution, we get to go find 
our old friend, the Pied Piper again. He's still hanging out down on the first level, so let's go find him. And can I just say, the art style of the waves off to the side is one of my favorite things about this level. It looks like props from a puppet show or a play. It just, it's a beautiful touch for this. I know I keep going on about the aesthetics of this game, but it's just too good not to mention it. So, back inside the Pied Piper, we're going to head upstairs and take a wild guess where we're headed. That's right, we are going back over to where those mice were on the far end of the second level. So with this, we're going to do something similar to what we did to sabotage the exhibit. But the great thing is, with this, we don't have far to go. Since he's big enough, he can knock open the door, bring the mice in here, and we have a health violation. Definitely don't want rats around your food. Okay, now we've only got one left to go. First thing first, you need to find a level 1 and 2 doll. Once you do that, head over to the far side. You'll notice the host hanging out over here. His special ability is Summon Caviar Chef. He will actually call the chef out here. What you need to do is hop out and stack into the chef. Now that we have Caviar Chef Vladimir, we can just go straight up to the caviar and dump the caviar out. He's fed up. Alright, so there is no more caviar. Yes, the ship's supply of caviar has been depleted. It is all done. All right, with that, we have taken care of sabotaging the exhibit and sabotaging the caviar buffet, sending two more adventurers up to talk to the captain. Only one remains. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please click those like and subscribe buttons and feel free to follow me on Twitter. And join me next time as we head upstairs to take care of some maps. See you guys next time.